Hello and welcome to City Update. I'm your host, Chuck Emmert. The City of Phoenix has set a goal to divert 40% of the trash that's collected from residents away from landfills and into new products and energy. But what's the plan to reach this goal? Here to talk about a unique partnership with ASU and the city is Public Works Deputy Director Brandy Barrett and ASU's Elisa Marseille. Welcome to City Update. Thank you, Chuck. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Well, Brandy, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do for the city. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, so I've actually been with the city for almost 15 years and I've had a great opportunity to work with a number of city departments, including the library services, parks and recreation, budget and research, city manager's office. But right now I think I have the best job in the city. Don't tell anyone. Um, so for the past few years, I've had the opportunity to work on Reimagine Phoenix with the Public Works Solid Waste Services Division. And what that is, is really trying to further circular economy in Phoenix find ways to keep resources that find their way into the trash at their highest and best use for as long as possible. And Alisa, you're our partner in this with ASU. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do at ASU. Yeah, so I'm the director for the RISEN Incubator, which stands for Resource Innovation Solutions Network. Um, I've been at ASU about a year and a half. Prior to that, I was the director for the U.S. Small Business Administration Women's Business Center. Um, I was actually an entrepreneur myself, so entrepreneurship and economic development is something I'm really passionate about. All right. Well, these are both big jobs, and the city of Phineas is a big city, 1.6 million residents. That generates a lot of trash. Absolutely, it sure does, Chuck. In fact, we service about 400,000 single-family residential households, and every year we're handling about a million tons of trash between our two transfer station and material recovery facilities. And so, as you can see, it becomes really important to divert that trash because every day, 125 times a day, we're driving long-haul trucks to and from the city's landfill, which is located about 60 miles outside of city center. Hmm. And Alisa, you know, at ASU, the most innovative uh, college university in the country, tell us a little bit about the plans that you are developing to help with that goal. Yeah, so RISEN was a partnership started with City of Phoenix. And so the goal was how do we collaborate and work together to accelerate this idea of circular economy? And I think what people don't realize is actually what we're putting out in the bins and the recycling bins actually has a tremendous amount of value. So how do we extend the life cycle of those products or how do we recoup that value, whether turning into new products or uh, other types of raw materials, keep it in the economy longer? Right, how to do that. That's why we're looking for ideas from entrepreneurs, right? Yeah. Absolutely, and I think back when the partnership between ASU and the City of Phoenix was initiated, we had a few very visionary leaders. I think we knew at the time there were a lot of materials that were in the uh, waste stream that could be recycled or repurposed, but there were also a lot that there didn't exist a technology that was economically feasible, and that's what we're really trying to support here. And so back way back when in that document, they envisioned an incubator to help support small startup businesses and ventures who would be able to create those technologies to be able to keep those items in the circular economy longer. And what's amazing about it, I think, is with the collaboration. So City of Phoenix has uh, what they call feedstock, some of the materials from the recycling stream available for prototyping, testing, and then with ASU, um, ventures have access to faculty, to students, to labs for materials testing. And so the partnership really works to to figure out what do the ventures need to scale and accelerate, and then is it materials, is it um, technical assistance, is it access to labs? Mm. It's really the best of both worlds, actually, because you have all the theory and the robust entrepreneurship and innovation um, at ASU, and you combine it with the real world problems and challenges that we're dealing with, with all of these resources coming our way on a constant basis. Sounds like a great partnership. Now, maybe we have some of our residents that are watching this program that might have an idea how would they get in touch with you? What would happens after that point? Great question. So we have an email box, reimaginephoenix at phoenix.gov. Um, and we also have a very robust website that talks about all of our different diversion programs. Uh, one of the things that we did is we really looked into what resources we had. So we did a, what's called a waste characterization study. And so we learned a great deal, actually. Quite a bit of what's in the waste stream are organic materials. So we created some new programs to help um, in a pilot area of our city our residents divert green organic material. So that would be tree trimmings, yard clippings. Um, also have a very close eye on some of the other higher commodities and developing programs and partnerships to really um, get those materials a new home rather than the landfill. 
And some of this could be uh, an app, or there's all, all kinds of ideas that are, are acceptable for this, is that right? Yeah, absolutely. So if somebody's interested in the incubator, we actually have a website, resinincubator.asu.edu, and we actually have an open call for innovation right now. So we're looking for people to apply. Um, they'll go through a selection process with City of Phoenix and ASU and different community stakeholders that evaluate all the applications. Um, but then they'd be able to join the program. So if people have ideas in this space, um, definitely check out the website and apply. Um, and what's interesting is we've had 13 companies through two cohorts go through the program over the last roughly year. Um, and cr the, the purpose is not just on the materials side and the waste side, but also how do we generate economic impact? Um, so we've been able to create, f these 13 companies have created 43 jobs, um, almost uh, 3 million in uh, raising capital, as well as 4 million in revenues generated. Yeah, that's great, very well done. Well, thanks so much for being with us today. Uh, if you'd like more information about the Resource Innovation Solutions Network, look to the website on your screen, risnincubator.asu.edu. Thanks for watching, I'm Chuck Emmer. Thank you.